everybody. Thanks for joining me again. So now we're gonna talk about the extra two tastes. If you were watching the other videos, you would know that now we know that sweet is a taste, that salty is a taste, that sour and that pungent are tastes, okay? And we also know that those elements are present in excess in each taste. While some of those elements may, elements may be present in excess within us, okay? So today, the, today's two tastes are more air quality, okay? So we're going to talk about bitter, bitter, and astringent. And astringent, you might think, what the heck is that? Well, I'll tell you. Don't worry, okay? So the first one is bitter. Bitter has air and ether qualities. So this is a highly vata taste, okay? So you might already know, okay, then if I'm more vata, if I have more air qualities, then having too much bitter might not be a good thing for me because it's going to create more dryness. It's going to actually, in excess, can reduce bone marrow, can reduce semen, can increase that roughness and that dryness within you. And a lot, our, our vata constitution, that dosha, is seated in our intestines. So we can actually have a lot of issues with our digestive system, specifically with our large intestines, okay? So what's bitter? What's bitter, right? I'm going to give you a little hint. Something that a lot of us consume daily, once, twice, or even three or more times a day, what can it be? And I did a little picture of it in the uh, up top. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee is super bitter. So if you are more Vata and you drink a lot of coffee, this is going to create more dryness within you. It's not going to help. Okay. We also know that coffee is a diuretic, right? We talked about that a little bit in previous videos. So you know that this can dehydrate you. So you need more oilation, more lubrication, more water. So be mindful of your bitter. Okay. Just be mindful of that. That's all I got to say. So it can also affect our, I said, our intestines, our stomach, our pancreas, and everything to do with a lower digestive system. It will actually help to balance pitta because pitta is more fire, right? Boom. Okay. Pitta is more, is more fire, a little bit of water. Kappa is more earth, more water, right? So it can really help to balance, which is nice. I'm not saying go out and drink a bunch of coffee if you're pittas because the more than just the bitterness of the coffee is actually quite activating, especially for a pitta. Um, so just something to be mindful of. One other little note that I'm going to say about that, about this bitter, about air, about vata, is that air, that quality, is the pusher and the mover of dis-ease or disease, okay? So something to be mindful of. Even if you aren't more vata, you always want to take a look at that air quality and what's going on within your body because if there's something that's slightly off in the vata, you really want to take a look at that first because that is the pusher and the mover of disease, okay? So if that doesn't make sense to you, it's okay. It's all good. No worries. But just be mindful of your dryness, of your constipation, things like that, number one, okay? So take that into consideration. Next one is astringent, astringent. What, what the heck is astringent? A lot of dark leafy greens can be astringent. When I talked about the spices, a lot of those spices were pungent astringent, right? So there's that taste in there as well. But something that would be more astringent predominant would be like a pomegranate. You know how the pomegranate has almost, ha almost has that little bit of dryness to it. There's, there's something, it's like you know, astringent, bitter, is not kind of like the same thing, ish? Well, it is ish because astringent is air, but astringent is also earth, not water, earth. So this will also create an imbalance if you are more vata. So be mindful to not eat too much astringent. That um, green, like um, Bananas that are still kind of greenish, not quite like unripe bananas, those are astringent as well. There's a lot more foods that are too. And if you decide that you'd like to come with me and coach with me for a year, uh, then you'll learn a lot more about that too. And you'll learn a lot more about yourself. But astringent, air and earth, okay? 
Both of these are cooling, so we know that they are not great for vata in excess, okay? If we have too much astringent, it creates dryness, it creates constipation, same types of things because that earth is cooler, um, the air is drier. It can have adverse effects on the heart as well, so just something to be mindful of with astringent. I'm not saying don't have astringent. These are all tastes to not consume in excess. That's all it is. Ayurveda, life, everything is all a gentle play of balance, right? When we go excess in one thing, we can become deficient in another. And we're always kind of trying to work our way back into homeostasis, back into our own ebb and flow, our own balance, right? So that's all of that. Just be mindful of that. Cool? So it can, I said, increase vata, right? But it can actually help to balance out kapha because, yes, it, it has earth, but the air helps to balance. But all kapas also are more wet or more water as well. So it really helps to balance, which is nice, okay? And it can actually help to balance the pitta as well because pitta is kind of like that middle fire. It's not, you know, all air. It can easily go through air. But the air and the earth kind of helps to ground and create this nice balancing synergy for it. Cool? So hopefully you have enjoyed this little mini tidbit. Join me tonight, okay? I'm going to put the link under this video. I've put it underneath all of the other videos I've done. And I'll put it in this group again later on today. We are going to take a look at this. This is going to be fun. So the tongue, okay? So you're going to see how all of the organs are affected by specific tastes, okay? Just be mindful. These aren't where we taste the tastes on our tongue. This is just how they relate to the organs. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with observation. We're going to stick out our tongues and we're going to kind of learn a little something about ourselves and chat a lot more about the tastes about the pitta, vata, and kappa. So if all of this stuff interests you, join me tonight. Awesome. Okay. See you guys later.